Hello everyone, this is my flat tour video and I thought this is time that I show you my flat finally because tomorrow I'm moving out I so as you know or don't I don't know I'm living in France in Nancy this is a small city and I have a tiny tiny flat uh, where I was living with my boyfriend so for the moment he's moving the, our, all our furnitures and everything in Lyon uh, in the new flat because we needed a bigger one for the baby and so I will show you the flat we lived in for one and a half years and well me I lived in here two years and this is the end of the period which is which is so exciting and I really love this flat so let's see and yeah welcome in my flat by the way welcome in the bathroom these are our towels this is mixed and this is mine and we only have four ones and this is not fair but i'm always guessing the fourth which is not good because we have like three good towels and one which is not good and i really hope we will buy some new ones for the new flat because these are not my favorite so the bathroom as you see this is very colorful so the bath tube, we have like this little thing with the fishes on and you know my grandpa uh, is a man who takes fishes from the lake out, I don't know what's that called, the fishman, the fisher, I don't know. And uh, in their flat, in the flat of my grandparents, sometimes there is like a um, fish in the bath tube because my grandpa doesn't always kill it uh, immediately and they just put it in the bathroom with some water and the fish is like swimming there and living its very happy and short life until they cook it yeah so our bathroom as you see we don't shower, this is more of a bath tube, but we use it as a shower. I always take showers, I prefer it to bath. And my bath tube is called Jacob Delafone. Delafone. How do you call your bath tube? Because me I'm getting in Jacob Delafone. I think that's so funny. And really elegant or I don't know so yeah this is my favorite shampoo for red hair and my favorite favorite shower gel with strawberries no maybe that's not strawberries I don't know but it smells so good so bye in the mirror yeah I invented this thing. Hey. I think that's very practical. Uh, what else? What else? Oh yeah, <coughs> we have a little animal here. So this is our toilet and you just have to sit on the penguin. I hope that's called penguin. And there is a mast. Do you see that on the wall? So yeah, that's in our bathroom, just um, beside the toilet and I'm very bad in mathematics so I cannot really calculate things and to be honest I never learned this and I still validated uh, my math class so I don't know how that happened but as you maybe notice, I'm so bad at calculating things that, for example, for my pregnancy, until the 36th week, so until now, I wasn't sure ever how many weeks I am. And I counted like three different ways. I never, never knew why we count, how we count. So yeah, that's how bad I am. But still. There is hope. Maybe on the toilet I will get better in cal calculating things. 
who knows, right? And that's the corridor, like the flow floor, I don't know what that's called, the hall, you, you know the entry of my apartment with my coats or our clothes and things on the wall. So this is like a board, I have some chalk here to write things down and Mick wrote me a very nice message in Hungarian French, <laughs> well this is mixed, it's uh, Szeretlek Hercegnöm et c'est toujours valable, on se réunit très vite ma douce. <laughs> so, uh, this is mixed French and Hungarian and this is like a very old message I just kept because it's so good and there are some recipes in French like ideas. Uh, yeah, so he is very sweet. He just says that he loves me and c that it's uh, forever and that we will be together very soon, <laughs> my sweetest. Because um, he wasn't living here yet when he wrote that message. So these are my very colorful jewelries, my earrings. Um, a part of it was made by myself, for example, this puzzle one, or which one, the Hungarian flag, or these Lego ones. These are my favorite. So, so these are earrings I don't wear anymore because now I have like another style but when I was crazy and I wore very colorful clothes and crazy earrings these were my my favorites so yeah this is the kitchen nothing interesting we had microwave mess <laughs> and yeah I just ate some quinoa today I don't have a lot to eat like because I'm moving tomorrow. Now this trainer I have a story to tell. When I was little at home I saw that that the trainer just um, empties up like magically. So I did the dishes like very often because that was I think my, one of my favorite tasks and it is still uh, to do at home to help my mother and now to leave, just simply. Um, and yeah, so I always did the dishes, but I never put things back on their places afterwards. And and still, the next day it was empty. And I thought, yeah, this is magic. And you know, the first time I moved in, in my own flat, or it wasn't even yeah, it was my first job when I was a babysitter and I had to realize that I have to empty the trainer after doing the dishes, yeah. By the way, do you know how to throw out things? Because I always, I'm always so confused about that and you know, it's um, different according to the countries. So if you live in France, of course it's different than if you live in Hungary. And in Hungary I know how to do it, but here... No idea. So this is like a planet-friendly reminder of what to throw where. And my story about this, that it just reminds me of my climate change professor because I had climate change class in the university, at the university and he was so rude. Once I told him I'm very interested in climate change, I would like to do researches or I don't know, just participate and I'm looking for plans, for future plans and he told me that you don't have the right to think about climate change until you've done like eight or ten years of studies and I don't know, it was just a very unpleasant experience with that professor and so yeah, that reminds me of how you don't have the right to say anything about climate change.